Welcome to Hub City TV, a USM student news magazine production. We're your source for what's happening in the Pine Belt. I'm your host, Joy Netzhammer. And I'm your other co-host, Portia Williams. In this week's show, we'll cover the newest apps and how they can benefit you. We'll also touch on different avenues of safety, from campus to fire alarms. And last but not least, a local cafe makes its debut once again. But at the top of the news, Facebook confirms it may have shared the personal data of 87 million users. That number is about 30 million more than what was expected when the allegations began. Hub City TV reporter Christina Randall brings you the story. Facebook is confirming it may have improperly shared the personal data of 87 million users with Cambridge Analytica. Previously, it was thought the number of users was 57 million, but it has now jumped to 87 million. CEO and founder of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, is now under question on whether or not he should still be the head of Facebook. I don't think he should step down, but I think that maybe there should be some kind of consequence. Zuckerberg, in a conference call with reporters, vowed to implement stronger privacy controls for users' profile information. Zuckerberg will testify on the leaked profile information on April 10th before Congress. So what he's doing now is damage control. And he's making sure that, number one, they don't uh, impose any uh, additional regulations on Facebook uh, or the other social media. And number two, that he protects his industry. For Hub City TV, I'm Christina Randall. The number of new apps is endless. For students who have trouble staying off their phones while in class, there's a new app that rewards them for resisting that urge. Hub City TV reporter Angel Morris fills us in on the app that benefits you in your pocket and lets you rack up the reward points. Some students may find it hard to stay off their phones during class, but this new app has made it easier. Pocket points reward students with discounts at restaurants, gifts, and more. All you have to do is go to the app and lock your phone. Points are only rewarded when the student is on campus and in class. USM student Cameron Ponder says the app gives students a chance to earn points for several places. Students have the opportunity to earn points and then the points give you discounts around um, local restaurants or stores. Um, even though Pocket Points reward students, Dr. Blackwell, associate professor, says the app keeps students plugged into class. For I think it's just a good lesson in learning how to disconnect from that phone and plug into to class or a professional meeting. For Hub City TV, this is Angel Morris. There are tons of fitness apps, but do they work? We'll see how one student uses them frequently. Sophomore Karma Hines says whether it's stretching, mountain climbers, bicycles or squats she's going to do whatever that app says because it keeps her on track so far to keep her from gaining weight from college she'll continue to use this app because she loves the results square cash has a new app called cash app most college students don't carry cash on them anyways people who download the app can now make a purchase with a few swipes on their phone Square Cash App is a fast, easy way for you to send and receive money. The app gives you the option to either get your money instantly with a 1% fee or wait two to three days to receive the full amount. I think Cash App is very convenient being how I'm a college student. Um, it's convenient for myself and my parents and other family members that want to send me money instead of them having to go to the bank or ask for my account number. Um, they just ask for my cash app name and the money goes directly into my account same day. So I think it's very useful for a lot of people and a lot of things. The newest feature to hit cash app is Bitcoin. The developers have added the cryptocurrency and made it easier to get access to it so you can buy, sell, trade, and monitor its activities closely. It's like it's convenient and it's easy for your parents to see money on the spot. 
For Hope City TV, I'm Kennedy Barnett. Now we take a look at another new app. This one could potentially put an end to texting and driving. Hub City TV reporter Haley Pritchard tells us about the new phone application and whether it can save you a costly ticket. The increase in mobile phone usage in the growing world of social media has a lot of teens and young adults scrolling through their apps and texting their friends while they drive. But there's a solution. A new app called EverDrive is trying to combat mobile phone usage by rewarding drivers who put their phone down. Um, I think texting and driving has become a huge problem. I feel like with an app like this, it's, it, would, it would help people stay off their phones. It would give them like an, an incentive to stay off of it. It's something that I, when I get older, it's definitely something I'd want to have on my kids' phones. Picking up your phone to respond to a text may seem like something small, but it could cause you your life, or worse, somebody else's. We lost someone um, in high school due to texting and driving, so I think this app could uh, potentially save, some, save lives and people would never have to experience that um, ever again. The app is user-friendly too. Simply just download the app, sign up, and you're ready to go. The app will now track your trips and hopefully encourage you to put your phone down. Coming up after the break, we have some healthy tips. So stick around and we'll see you in two.